Hi guys, how are you? I hope your weekend was good. I wonder, did anyone watch the Academy Awards? I sure did. I thought it was really funny. I know that there's a lot of critics out there saying that they didn't like the show, but I thought that Alec Baldwin and Steve Martin were hilarious, and, um, and it was fun. Kind of along with all the ten nominations for Best Film. But it seemed like everyone was very deserving, and Sandra Bullock's speech was amazing. Um, I am doing this vlog about some questions that people have asked me in my messages and in the comments. Um, some people think that I am actually Lisa's mom, which I am not. Um, I, I am not old enough to have given birth to Lisa, um, but I know her mother and she's incredibly sweet, so I suppose that it's flattering. Um, Yes, I'm not Lisa's mom, even though I play her mom in uh, the Hot Girls series and the Squeegee Gloss series that's happening right now on Lisa's channel. Um, but in the in both of those, I'm wearing like insane character makeup to make me look older. Like with it's with the Squeegee Gloss character Billy, um, I put like age lines all over my face and. Um, and don't cover up any of my like skin perfection imperfections. Uh, it's kind of hard looking at myself actually when I'm when I'm watching the videos. Hard, it's hard going looking at myself looking that unattractive. <laughs> um, but you know it's important to respect the creative process and really play the character the way the character would look. So I try and be, um, you know, good. I try and be good. Um, yeah, so, A, not Lisa's mom. Um, B, people have been asking the name of the movie that I was cast in, and, of course, I would love to tell you a lot of details, but I'm not allowed yet. The only thing I can tell you right now that's, um, public information is that it's called Boy Toy, and it's a comedy. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to say who else is in it or anything like that, but that'll come out soon. And, um, and I've already gotten my wardrobe fitting call phone calls. That's sort of the first thing you get when you, after you've been cast, you get contacted by the wardrobe mistress. That's what she's called, I believe. That's what it's called in the theater. I don't know if it's what it's called in a movie. Um, the war wardrobe mistress calls you and asks you your sizes. And you try not to lie and say that you're really skinny. Um, because then all of your clothes won't fit. Um... And then you usually go in for a fitting and decide, well, you don't really decide. The costume person sort of decides, but you can have input into what you get to wear as your character. Um, so I have lots of ideas for mine, um, and maybe we can show that part when I go there. Um, the other thing that people have been asking me is how I started out as an actor, and the answer to that is that I started doing theat local theater in Michigan uh, when I was a teenager. Um, I worked with a really great theater company and really learned the ropes that way. I took a lot of classes there and also did some professional plays there. Um, and then I moved to Toronto and did a lot of classical theater. Um, I got to play a lot of the great characters in the Shakespearean canon. Uh, I guess my favorites are um, Ophelia. I played Ophelia. Um, that was one of my favorite productions. It's just such a beautiful part. I actually got to play that part twice in two different productions. Um, and the funny thing is, usually when you do a play, you, uh, you live with the character while you're doing the show. And then it's so part of you that when you're done the play, for a few months afterwards, it's just sort of rattling around in your brain, and because there's no stress involved with it and trying to be good and trying to make the right choices, because you're not actually doing it anymore, a lot of uh, realizations about the character that you're playing occur to you after you're done. Um, so that happened to me with Ophelia, and then I had the opportunity to play her again after I had all, or had all of these, like realizations you know you're like in the grocery store and you're like oh that's the thing with her dad or you know stuff uh, so that was I, I really felt blessed to have that opportunity and I also loved playing uh, Juliet I got to do that in a tour across part of Canada and um, 
that was really satisfying. Um, yeah, so I started out in theater, mostly classical theater, and then moved to L.A. and started auditioning for film and television, and met Ben and Lisa in an acting class, and then we started doing sketchy things together, and Lisa invited me to do some stuff on YouTube, and now I'm here on YouTube with you guys. Um, so that's my story. That's a very brief story. Perhaps I'll go more into it later, but I feel like this is already really long. Um, so, <laughs> um, I am going to bid you adieu, and I'm going to go and edit a video that is sort of like a recap of what I've done for the last week and a half, and that'll be more visually exciting, perhaps. Um, yes, so that should be out probably tomorrow or the next day, but I'll definitely put something out tomorrow. So keep your eyes out, babies. Keep your eyes out, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Okay. Mm, fist kisses. Mm, kisses. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay.